I want to uh, bring your attention to an email that Spike has received recently. Um, Spike, in one of your videos I noticed that you had your shirt off. It was very dark in the room and the lighting was bad. Could you please do another one of these videos and this time in better lighting? I, I honestly don't know if this is a serious email or if somebody just, you know, as like a joke. But, you know, I got a good body. There's no denying it. <laughs> I might be a little flabby around the middle, but hey, other than that, I got a pretty damn good body. Let's face it. So, you know, if the ladies and uh, some of the queens want to see some more of the spike, some more spike, okay, very well then. No, Spike is not a tough guy. Spike is just your average white guy who's pretty pale, and when I go to Arizona, I'm going to get a tan, and I am not that big. But uh, if the ladies want it, the ladies got it. Uh, okay, that was fun. Now... On a more serious note, uh, one of the things that I've noticed on YouTube and the media, just general entertainment, is how so many people seem to be ashamed of their bodies. Um, you know, we, we, we give mixed messages to each other, we give mi mixed messages to the media, we give mixed messages. And part of that, I think, is, has to do a lot with religion. Most of us grew up in a, uh, uh, a religious atmosphere of within an Abrahamic tradition, be it Judaism, Christianity, or Islam, in which the body is a horrible thing. The body is bad, and we're supposed to feel guilt and shame about feeling any kind of physical, sensual pleasure. No. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now... What this does to the psyche is that people are so desperate for what is natural. I mean, it's natural for people to want to touch, want to hold each other, want to hug each other, want to be with each other. It's natural, perfectly natural. It's natural for a guy or a girl after a certain age to uh, be sexually attracted to somebody else and want to make love. Perfectly natural. Well, we live in a society where we're supposed to suppress our feelings, repress our feelings. We're supposed to be, we're supposed to sit there and say, oh, this is horrible and this is wrong. Oh, well, you know, it's, it's kind of ridiculous because human beings, you know, we're animals. We, to a great extent, you know, if, if I see a gorgeous woman, or if I see even an average looking woman, and I look at her and I think, wow, she's good looking. I mean, I have female friends who, you know, I mean, if they were single and actually, you know, made an invitation, I wouldn't say no, that's for sure. And that's natural. There's no shame attached to that. There's nothing attached to that that's shameful or guilty. And what we need to do in our society is start looking at love and start accepting love and sex as much as we do uh, the violence within our society. And that way, when we finally accept that within our society, we can... I'm sorry, I've got a couple of people over there looking at me. I'm, like, right along a trail. They're like, what are you doing? I'm making a... Yeah, a porno. Want to watch? Okay, anyway. Oh, you know, it's, it's like... For example, breasts. You know, you can, you can go on YouTube and see people beating the crap out of each other. You can see people hurting each other in serious agony and pain and torture. You, you turn on the TV, you play video games, you do all this kind of stuff, you can see somebody getting hurt. And society goes, eh, who cares? 
But the second somebody bears a breast, or shows a nut, or something like that, it's, oh, we're so offended, we're so freaked out, oh. I don't, what is that, you know? I mean, to me, if I see two people in the park kissing, whether it be, you know, a guy and a girl, or two guys, or two girls, or whatever, you know, no matter what their age, race, gender, you know, anything like that. I think, wow, that's so, you know, that's so brave in our society to do that. And it's so good that, that, that you're showing positive, loving affection. Now, if I saw somebody beating the shit out of somebody, I'd be horrified. I'd be like, what the hell are they doing? You know, I don't laugh at other people's pain. You know. Unless they really, 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 really deserve it. But even then, you know, there's a limit. Um, yeah, if it's a consequence of action, you know. It's like if I tell somebody, don't put your hand on a hot stove, and they do it anyway, well, ha, 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 you're an idiot because you just did something that you weren't supposed to. But th that's an ethical situation. I don't want to talk about ethics. What I want to do is I want to continue talking about sex and love and flesh and skin and connecting. I mean, for example, last night I went to uh, the grocery store pretty late at night, saw about five other people in line with me. Most of them were college girls and they're buying, you know, they're, they're pretty, pretty good size. They're not, you know, they weren't thin, but they, well, they were plumpers, you know. I mean, I'll just say, you know, they were a little bit overweight. They're buying cake and donuts and cookies and ice cream and and TV dinners and I'm just thinking, what the hell? What the hell? Why why are we eating so much? You know, we're so afraid of love. We're so afraid of to, we're so afraid to touch each other, to hug each other, to love each other, that we sit there and we eat because you know. If you eat an entire large pizza, nobody's going to say anything. But if you hug someone in public, <gasps> I don't get it. I mean, I really, truly don't get it. I mean, we have such, we have such adolescent attitudes about sex, about gender, about love. I don't get it, you know? And I like my body. It's not the best. I'm not the tallest. I'm not the biggest or the most physically fit. But it's my body and I like it. And when I get to Phoenix, I'm going to join in a gym. And I'm going to get even bigger, stronger, healthier. And then I'll show you everything from the shoulders down. To a certain extent, ladies, don't get too excited. Because the spike, yes, the spike is sexy, but it's not easy. So, uh, just remember that.